Hey, I'm uh, commenting on the gay hell. And first I was going to add insult to injury and debate, but, you know, in my 40-something years I've realized you cannot change people's minds. You can only hope that they will open their mind into listening to something, and generally if you shout, they won't listen. This young man's very well spoken, and he reminds me of my son. Not the son I gave birth to, because I don't have kids. My heterosexual mother um, had four more after me, and I ended up taking care of those, so I never really felt the need to have children. But my son that I took care of from 12 to 18 is wonderful and beautiful and outspoken. I was with his mother for five and a half, six years, and he is completely heterosexual. He's got a great career going on. He's got a lot of friends. He's traveling the world, and he's educated. And he doesn't have the same bleak outlook you people have that have so much hate. Now, you have to remember that all of these distractions, like gay marriage and everything, is a distraction. Democrats versus Republicans, well, guess what? We're all Americans. We're all people. We're all humans. We need to look at what the government is doing. Why are the banks failing after they did fail with the savings and loan? Why didn't they learn anything from that? We need to start asking the real questions about health care and why we get distracted every time there's a real issue or the terror alert goes up. Start asking the real questions, America. Don't worry about what I do in my bedroom. It's none of your business. And trust me, I don't want to see what you do in yours. Okay? So get educated. You know, it's funny. The most educated people are the less religious. Yeah, a lot of us have spirit. But that doesn't mean we have to include the dogma that includes the hate that you people are breathing. So stop breathing your hate and turn it to where it needs to go to get our real lives in shape and make sure this government knows that we don't really care about what people do in bed, but we do care about what the government is doing. This is Fibro Hell Michelle. Come on, guys, get a clue. Bye-bye.